Hi friends, this is Fire on Pop, here with another uh, part three, really, in my uh, series on active shooter. And this one we're going to call Practical Considerations. And we're just going to have some chat on uh, things that you should think about uh, in the event you are encountering a uh, active shooter. Now, first off, let's, let's start with a couple of interesting facts that I'm... I'm as I'm researching this, I'm finding out. One, there's a big difference between active shooter and a mass shooter. Um, um, active shooter have, generally is a lone wolf. Um, so, so can be a mass shooter versus a, uh, versus a terrorist. Okay, uh, Terrorists can be uh, multiple people. Uh, where an active shooter or a mass shooter uh, can be a single person. Generally, they uh, they do have uh, <coughs> armor, uh, Kevlar Kevlar vests, uh, helmets, uh, and usually uh, have uh, this this in the past have been with long guns. They have ARs. They have AKs. They have um, uh, weapons that are more suitable for uh, killing lots more people. And here you are with a handgun, uh, whichever one you choose to carry. Uh, again, uh, we look in, we carry for personal defense, and so the caliber can be a lighter caliber um, because that's usually a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Uh, versus uh, if you're planning on and who plans for a active shooter uh, that's wearing uh, body armor, so. Uh, these are things that you need to keep in the consideration. Now, the average uh, gunfight if or active shooter situation lasts no more than five minutes. Five. Okay. So you either have it on you or you don't have it on you. Um, and that's in the first thing to consider before you even go out for the day. Okay. In any place uh, where you might encounter an active shooter. Um, also, there's a lot of practical considerations. Um, first one uh, that I've, I've encountered that I, I like, the, the, uh, the priorities of life, it's called. And uh, they're really important. So uh, your priorities in life should be number one is you. You. Number two, your family and loved ones. Number three innocent bystanders, and for the bad guy or the shooter. So those are your priorities uh, to take care of yourself, you and your family. Uh, I mean, you, we can argue where they, they sit in the priorities, one, two, or three, but if you're not taking care of you, you can't take care of your, your family and loved ones. So uh, you have to make you first. You have to survive the fight to be able to protect your family and loved ones, and then any innocent people that might be around. Now, also, it's you have no duty to defend the innocent people. Uh, you have no duty to do that. You, you really the the things you should do in the event of an active shooter is run, hide, and then fight. So fighting is your last. Priority, okay. Your last, uh, when all else fails, you have to take action and fight. Saving lives is, of course, the priority. Uh, you're not going to go into a situation. You're going to uh, react because you want to save your priorities. You, your family, okay. And you can't run or hide, so you have to fight. Now, you have to get past all those obstacles before you even think of drawing your weapon. Okay. So you want to uh, get out of the danger zone, if there is one, 
and you've seen some behind me here. Uh, you want to avoid uh, and deny access, okay? So if you can get behind the locked room, the locked door, lock it, barricade the door, any one of those things will work. And then the last, of course, is defend yourself. Uh, you can't hesitate. Do not hesitate for cover and concealment and have a backup plan. If this doesn't work, what do we do? If we're going to have to fight from this location, is there cover that I could use? There's so many considerations. And I'm going to go back to you have five minutes. In five minutes, all this is going to be over. So you're either going to survive the five minutes or you're not. <laughs> Great picture behind me with that comment. Uh, and number two uh, thing to, wor to worry about is don't worry about fighting fair. You fight to survive. Don't worry about fighting fair. Fight to survive. I think that's an important point. <laughs> Points here I want to bring up. Uh, okay, most active shooters situations happen in gun-free zones. Let that sink in for a minute. Most active shooter situations happen in gun-free zones. So uh, you make up your own mind uh, how you approach a gun-free zone. Um, so, you know, just to re reiterate, time matters. Uh, you have five minutes again to react, get safe, and provide safety for you and your family and your loved ones, and then any innocent people around you, okay? Yeah, the most important thing is to make sure you don't get shot. So there, there are probably many other considerations when it comes to an active shooter situation. I've thrown out a couple, a bunch of ideas here, uh, uh, things that you should worry about. Again, I've decided because of this uh, new trend, if you want to call it that, uh, to carry a 45. Um, and the only thing the 45 does to me, if I, if they are wearing body armor, uh, it's going to knock them off their feet, so I can maybe take a headshot or. Uh, so I don't have to be that worried about great placement of my first couple of shots. Uh, and don't forget, you, you have to shoot from behind cover because they have a, a, a AR, an AK. Um, you're going up against some heavy-duty stuff, uh, and you're just looking to survive. And then <clears throat> once you've survived and the five minutes are up and you've um, disabled the assailant, uh, you are next. If the once law enforcement starts showing up, uh, or another armed citizen, or anybody else, they're going to see you holding a gun. They're going to think you're the person doing all the damage. So you want to make sure once you've you've resolved the situation, if that's it, is to reholster. Put your weapon down, hands up above your head, clear that you are behind your head. Uh, make sure that they, people are aware that you are not a threat because you want to survive this encounter. You don't want to get shot by law enforcement. They're coming in. Law enforcement's going to come in hot and heavy. And all they're going to see is you holding a gun, whether you've... you've resolve the threat or not. So law enforcement is going to come in hot and heavy. So <clears throat> what you need to do is is make you make yourself uh, uh, disarmed and in a, uh, uh, a position that people will know that you are not the bad guy. You are not the cause of this upheaval that just happened. So these are all thoughts and things you should be aware of uh, when the fighting's over. Uh, if you've survived it, you need to make sure you survive again. So uh, again, these videos are, are meant for open discussion. 
So please uh, feel free to discuss. If you have valid points, if you disagree with some of the things I've said, please, please note them down below. Uh, if you agree, I'd like to hear that too. So this is Fire on Pop. Be safe out there. Of course, be safe. Support our military, support law enforcement, because they're the ones that are going to come in and help you. And God bless you all. Bye now.